Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, my palette is uh, cadmium yellow pale, uh, yellow ochre, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, uh, light, uh, red ochre and black. Uh, the reason I'm using black is that I have a big tube of it. Uh, my mate Alan Owen, the door mate, has sent me uh, He's given up oils, oil painting, he says too old. And uh, he knows I love using oil, so he's, he's sent me his daily around he, all the big big tubes of, uh, of titanium white, black, Payne's grey, sap green, yellow ochre. Uh, it's very kind of him, so I'll we'll just have a chat with him later on. Uh, right now, I just uh, primed over a, 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 a watercolour demo. You can see what it what it is below, but all right for demonstration. But it wasn't set, I don't think. So I use them as supports for oil painting. But um, I, I would prefer to do it probably on the on the reverse side, which is porous, without any primer. You don't need to prime paint watercolour paper because it's uh, it's very durable. It's, it's made from rag. And uh, the Fabriano 130 pounds, which I use also, <coughs> that's only a, me, that's only a third rag. The rest is cellulose, so I I, I do prime those ones. But um, if the primer, if you do this and the primer uh, allows some of the oil to soak through, you'll get dry patches. But you can lift all that out by just getting a coat of retouch varnish. Uh, all right, okay, so I'm, I'm going to do a sort of a improvise some sort of scene. Uh, do, I've got a good pen, pencil. Uh, we'll have a bit of a coast line coming around here uh, and sort of a distance. And a bit of sea coming down there. Some rough sort of patchy area there. Uh, now I, I like doing rough, but, but in 1999 when I was painting all these Venice paintings, I uh, I was working from Antoine Bouvard's paintings and just adapting them. And I've shown you this before. This is what I haven't got many photographs of what I did. The 80 or so paintings. Let's just zoom in on that. But this was on my more exact days. And I did one, a 16 by 12 painting, but I did it as rough as I could. And it sold the same morning for a lot of money. But this was uh, a nice bright Venice sky. Uh, I made the, I make the skies up. And just used light red, a touch of cerulean, cerulean in the sky. But with the, with, the, with the light red, just a tiny bit of, of that with your titanium white or whatever white you want to use, you get this lovely warm glow and taking down to the horizon to the Dallas, whatever that chirpy church, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, it's largely guesswork there. But the, the, all this sort of stuff, this was, oh, well, that was the guts of it. And the great Laszlo Ritter, who I, who I met a couple of times in the gallery, showed me how to do all this. And there are lots of versions, but you use a lot of oil. And I used fast drying oil. And you just get it on, and then you, as it dries, you just put your colours in, and then go over it again and again and again. And eventually you get what's underneath shining through. Not a great example of it. But they're my trees. Now this, putting trees like that, they're not the same. The one's larger and that one's smaller. But they're stippled with fast drying oil. And a, and a still, just an ordinary old cheap bristle and just keep going over it and it also saves you from painting detail for the buildings behind so it, it helps but these take a lot of a lot of painting I found and putting in gondolas I, I changed the position of all the boats and things so it wasn't a copy it was just based on an Antoine Bouvard Venice scene Venetian light I called that one it was 20 inches by 24 inches, so it's quite large. Uh, I, I, the biggest I ever did of Venice was uh, 36 by 24. 
and, and uh, that was sold in the gallery for a lot of money. Uh, I didn't get a lot of money. But there we are, it was, it was a learning curve. But, but over the years, I've got rougher and rougher. Now, I will show you one other artist I was exhibiting with in the what was then the Webster Gallery in Oxshot. It's Michael James Smith. Now, when I knew him, he was 19 years old. He's, he demonstrates on YouTube, Michael James Smith. Now, Michael James Smith. Um, he shows how he does. He square, it's like a smoothie 77. He squares it all up. The photograph and then just painstakingly dots all the detail in and they're fantastic he's a fantastic draftsman but uh, the gallery is long gone now I don't know what he does now haven't seen him since the gallery days but uh, his paintings just to sell for a lot of money but you can see there's a lot of work in them but they don't take as long as you would think but if you're interested in photographic oil painting, go on Michael James Smith on YouTube. He shows you how he does it. Uh, I've got very rough over the years. Uh, I don't really like painting detail. I like the illusion of detail. Uh, just just in, in indicating it. Now, Alan sent me a couple of brushes, well, several brushes as well. So my one of these, or two of them, are worn out. And he's he's trimmed he's trimmed the hairs on both sides, but I'm going to I'm going to do the sky with that. So uh, what sort of sky? Well, I'm going to I'm I'm not going to do a, a Venetian sky. I'm going to do a dramatic, or try to do a dramatic sky, using the lamp black and ultramarine. Let's see how we how we get on. I used to use a lot of black for my greens because it mixes it mixes very well with with uh, the cadmium yellow pile that I use. Cover those mounds, all those distant mounds, mounds. Somebody asked me if I. I painted rocky mountains scenes. Well, no, the answer is no, I don't. Uh, I live in the UK, uh, in the uh, southeast corner of the UK in London, or South London, on the edge of Surrey. And there are no mountains, and all my landscapes are improvised, from, mostly from memory. Oh, something like that. But I'll go to, oh, I'm going to put some light over because I wanted some light trees, so let's just wipe that off. I wasn't thinking, I was talking. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, clean the brush. I'm only going to use the one brush. Well, mostly one brush. Whoops. Oh, I heard that. Loose I'll have to nail that in. Bit of glue and nail. Oh, that happened the other day, didn't it? Look. So what I do, I put a, put a couple of pins through there, bang, bang them in. Uh, right, well I won't use that brush, I'll uh, use another brush. Okay, so um, I'll add a bit more More blue, bluey. It's had a bit of white to it. We don't want a black sky, really. Well, it's not black. It's a, just a undercoat, really. blend clouds into that. Okay, so we've got plenty of, uh, of uh, light areas. Right, 
Right, no spoil, I'm going to put my light, so let's clean the brush. See if I can show you one that I've done. See, there's this one that I've uh, repaired. Look, I've put a couple of pins, they're veneer pins. Oh, let's uh, come out of that, sorry. A couple of pins, and I bend them over on that side and snip them off before I actually bend. And it just holds the, 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 the handle in, into the ferrule. Okay, so a bit of ochre and a bit of bit of red, a bit of white. And a bit of yellow in there. Come in yellow pile. That's where we want the light down here. Uh, So that's my, that's my, uh, well that's my uh, cliff, cliff edge, that's the distance there. I get a bit of direction to that. that land. Okay, well that's a well that's a good start, isn't it? Let's get a bit of a the grey back over over there because that's where we want some counter change. Just blackened an ultramarine here. I've been using Payne's Grey for months now. I've used the uh, any black. I've got black, but not a lot left. But now I've got a lot. I've got a big tube. Oh, that's a nice, interesting sky. Let's just brighten up those lights. That's probably a bit too too yellow. Let's just lighten that a bit. bit of blue up there because it's a bit like a wave rather than a cloud so let's just have a bit of white, a bit of black, a bit of blue, just a bit lighter.
So I lighten some of that. Too yellow that. Because I was using that it's a cadmium pile. Better with the ochre. It's a better well at the moment it's a bit of a better colour. Light under there now. Okay, so I quite like that. All right, I've got a sky. Right now, we're going to go in for the rough stuff. So we'll have the downs here. Uh, let's see what we'll show you the uh, the greens, maybe the uh, grey or the, the black. I had a little bit of red with that, we've got a much more variety in the green. <coughs> and we'll put in a bit of that. I might make that lighter in there. We'll see how we go. Well, we really should do, really. There. I don't want it to look as if I'm painting around the around the uh, the, the trees, but uh, so red, black. So get in some uh, ochre now and some red ochre, bit of yellow. Use your stipple. Oh, softness. Well, let's get that background in. Um, I'm going to use. I've got a brush here, one of Alan's brushes. Oh, I forgot to drink my tea. Let's drink my tea. Got to do something about that. So now a bit of a black, a bit of a blue, a bit of white. I 
Well, let's just roughly get this uh, sort of distance in. in there for cliffs. Most of these paints have been on the palette since uh, yesterday. Okay, right some uh, trees distant trees nice brush Blue green, yeah. Right, I'm going to soften that edge there. Let's get in a bit of bit of sea there. Just got a bit of bit of beach in there, uh, bit of bit of ochre. I'll put some uh, white bits in there with a knife. Now as a Londoner, I, <coughs> I don't live by the coast. Darker. Right now we've got some uh, oak coming.
Right, okay, now we've got to do a bit of modelling on that uh, edge there. We've got a bit of contrast, so let's... Uh, <laughs> have a slightly mauvey. Just mix some mauvey colours and we just... Uh, oh, not strong enough. with a bit of black. Right, now we want to put a bit of a light down, down there. A bit of Green, so let's get me a brush. So we'll come down with some good green. Hey look, using a brush. A bit like Bob Ross, Ross that, isn't it? Actually, that should go the other way, shouldn't it? All right, so we have a bit of grassy green now. Amazing what you can do with a slip on a rough brush, isn't it? But is it art? Should it be that easy to do to do that? Now we can put in a bit of a bit of pushy stuff up there. Bit of red, green, well red, yellow. Um, I'll that bit there now. A cliff edge.
Looking like Tom again. More green than that. That bit there. Right, we'll just catch a bit of light and we'll do a bit on the uh, bit of light on there. Right, let's try to do a bit of doctoring on the on the sky. It needs a bit more bright on the sky, maybe. Soften all this a little bit. Okay, now need a knife now. Uh, this. Oh, that's not my knife, my favourite knife. Where it is. I think I'm going to probably need a bit more yellow sandy colour. Right, now we'll put in a little bit of a I don't know about that.
Okay, well that was too much more than that really. More light on that, uh, that greeny area there. So that's with uh, using a sort of modified black with red. Uh, I need a bit of light on, on that uh, ochre, sandy colour. Can't do it like that. Oh, don't think I've got any better than that at the moment. Uh, right, remove my palette. Oh, there it is. Look, right old mess. And we'll uh, put a bit of, bit of uh, fingers so I don't want to get my painty fingers on on the mount oh upside down so mux it up already look put it out the wrong way It's a little bit dull in parts, so let's see if we can just the last few couple of minutes on it. I've done uh, 40 minutes so far. Ochre. Just a few dobs of light here and there. All right, okay, well that do. Get that one uploaded. Uh, repair me brush. Uh, let's just take you out so you can see that whole picture in the mount. Oh, there we are. Just a, just a cliff. Uh, you can also just add a few little bits of uh, light on that far shore. Gosh, oh, that one needs cleaning. this one. 
that's going to have a soak in the old uh, I'll give that a bit of a go with the um, dishwasher liquid in a moment I wish there's another brush in doing that one Just gives an impression of something going on there, like buildings, whatever. Okay, well I hope you like that one folks, thanks for looking in and I'll see you soon, bye bye.